before the off, I've drawn peg 11 at Dunham. It's upstream of Dunham Bridge for those of you that might know the area. Fished hard here yesterday. Alan Henry, who's organised this match, who runs the teams of four and everything on here, he drew his peg yesterday. He actually won this section yesterday with just over three pound. He said nobody had a bite on the feeder, so three pound of just dace and roach, I think, on the float. So it didn't fish very well yesterday, as you can see. There's not much wind, there's a bit of a breeze on it blowing upstream. The tide is just about to turn. Like I said, we're kicking off at 11 o'clock and the tide is due to top at about half past 12. So it's going to start going that way now to the right and back up. It's going to come up about three feet, we think. And then it's going to stop again and then start flowing its, its correct course, which is that way down towards Dunham Bridge. Like I said, three pound won the section yesterday. I've, I've come here with all sorts of different plans in my mind, different rods and stuff, just to see where I drew. And literally an hour before the start, I've decided to kind of make a bit of a, a bold decision and go down one route, one line, one route. So I'm going to fish one line. I'll speak to you in a little while about what line that is. I'm just going to fish really, really confidently. I'm not going to put too much bait in, but I'm going to fish confidently if that makes any sense. And, you know, some chop worms, some casters. I don't know if there are any bream in this area. I've heard there might be, there's a chance of an odd small barbel, but I'm just going to keep my eye on what happens around me and just kind of stick on that one line and, and hopefully just go for at least one or two better fish. In order to qualify today, we've got to win the 20 peg zone. And as you can imagine, the first peg is down there near the bridge and the other peg is right up there. <laughs> <laughs> 20 pegs, which obviously go right the way up there. just coming up to the first hour just had that one bite one little roach not seen any other fish caught it's like if I just netting one to my right only a small fish looks like a roach about six ounce it's flying quite hard to the right now but in about half an hour it's going to be still again and then it's going to start going that way just going to keep hammering that one line like I say, only had that one bite. We have plenty of casters through. Just gonna keep going down that hole. And hopefully a bonus fish will come along.
just about to start slowing down I think before it stops and then starts going that way but um, just going to stick at it there's one, be one more fish caught that's two pegs to my right is that one about a pound other than that I haven't seen any other fish caught yet I'm in two minds about what to do, to be honest. On the turn, I don't know whether to just carry on doing what I'm doing. Just keep banging them casters through. Bit of chopped worm maybe. It wasn't very coloured when we got here, but since it's been filling up now, it's it has coloured up quite a bit more. I might put some gear in when it stands, when it goes still. I don't know yet. I've got about another 20 minutes, half an hour to make that decision. And it looks like we've got a bit of boat activity now as well. that makes you think well yeah my rig's working fine it's only about two or three ounce that's all it is it came up right in front of my landing net so I scooped it <laughs> that's the only other bite I've had these boats are just about to to go now looks like they've had the lunch or whatever it's slowed down now so it, it's not far off just you know going still again before it starts flowing it, in its you know correct direction down towards Lauterton I think I'm going to put some bait in when it's still. I do. I don't want to just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I want to push the peg a little bit. We're here to win the 20 pegs. I haven't seen any other fish caught yet, other than the two single fish to my right. I think on the turn I'm going to put in about 200 mil of caster and shot worm. I'm going to wait till it's bang still, so I know it's bang on the spot there. Same spot that I've been hitting all day. Stop putting some chopped worm through and just push it a little bit for a bonus fish or a fish. I don't want to go home with regrets, wishing I'd done this, wishing I'd done that. I'm not going to go down the small fish route. I decided against that from the start. I'm sure there might be a few days there, but I don't honestly believe there's enough there to be caught. Not on a feeder that's going to win 20 pegs on here. So I'm going to wait till it's bang still, put 200 mil of bait in and then just keep hammering it down that same hole for the rest of the match while it's flowing in, in, you know, in, its, in its correct direction. Definitely an indication if it's a fish, it's a very small fish. I think it's a very small fish. Another little roach. Cracking bite though. Oh no, it's a dace. What is interesting is I've had three fish now. Not one of them is bigger than two ounce. And the two lads to my right have both had a, a fish a piece. And both of those fish, are, one's about half a pound, one's a pound. Normally I'd say that's because I was using, you know, a, quite a, a you know a cereal mix or something like that. But I'm not. I'm using special G green on its own, which is a really strong mix. So I can't blame that. I'm just going to keep on, uh, keep going. Well, 
I've just had two or three casts on a on a black cap. You know, just a, a maggot feeder. Thought I might have snared a, a roach or a dace or something just before the tide, well, before it set off running again to the left. I've not had a sign on it. Can't believe it. Just with double maggot. There's just no signs of life at all. It's just about to start going, I think, so. I'm gonna put that bait in now. Put it put a bed down. Women cast it. And then try and set it up for when it starts running. Just a 30 gram plastic feeder. We could put a few in, like I said, 200 mil, mainly bait, just you know, hardly any ground bait whatsoever. Just try and get a better bait down. centimeter up and I've been fishing 50 all day but not at a sign it's just about flowing properly again now so I'm switching to a one meter tail now just to see if there's any fish hanging a bit further downstream and they're just backing off away from that feeder but I've got to be honest with you there aren't any indications whatsoever I haven't seen any more fish caught one or two lads now just stood stood behind the boxes now I think there's one lad just packing up there's just no signs of any fish there and I've no idea how it's fishing elsewhere in the section this is the first feeder masters match that I've fished where I've just not heard anything about how the rest of the sections fishing but I've made my bed I've got to got to line it just got to stick at what I'm doing and try and snare one well there's an hour and a half left and I haven't had any more signs nothing just got in three small fish a bit gutted that at least one of them wasn't a proper fish but that's the way it goes I haven't seen any more fish caught nowhere I can only see two, uh, sorry three anglers to my right and I can see probably three anglers to my left I've not seen anyone on my left catch I'm sure they probably will have done but I haven't seen seen them catch I'm still on that same line I've got a meter tail on just got double maggot on at the minute the flow's picked up again now and it's... I've now stepped up to a 45 gram feeder. I expect it to pick up a little bit more so I end up with more weight on. But like just then it dropped back a little bit then so I just picked up on it, you know, I'm just... Just picking up at every... Indi well, I'm just picking up at everything that looks like a bite. heard anything about other sections fishing at all nothing so I've no idea what's been caught there's just no indications you know there's no signs there's no smash maggots I've even had single caster on I've probably gone through a pint and a half of casters now I've even had single caster on and I've just not had a sign that any of that bait what's gone out there that I've put in has actually been eaten or there's anything there but so there's an hour and a half to go I'm gonna stick on this line because it's the only line I've got I'm gonna keep a, a one meter tail on and just keep alternating hook baits which I've had worm on as well and double caster double maggot three maggots as well I'm just gonna stick at it and hope hope that I can pick one up Well, there's just 30 minutes left and I haven't had any more signs I've just got them four small fish a bit gutted that at least one or two of them have been better fish but that's the way it goes sometimes I didn't know but the lad two to my right have got a fish about a pound pound and a half or whatever it was he actually packed up at two o'clock and went home I didn't know because I can't see him but well obviously I can't see him now can I
still got that lighter feeder on at the minute, just searching down the peg, just trying to get a fish. I haven't seen any more fish caught, or I haven't heard anything either. I'm going to get a decent fish, it doesn't matter you know, when it comes, even if it's in the last minute. Still on that same line. Still got a metre tail on, but it's very, very grim. There's just no small fish, you know. You're not getting any bites even on double maggot or three maggots. You're not getting bites from, from dace or, or roach or anything like that. Even on a metre tail. It's, uh, I know it's bright sunshine, it's not really, really coloured, but we'd heard it had been fishing hard. So that's why you just got to keep hammering it until that, the final whistle. One, one fish, one bite can, can change everything. Well, I've just had a brilliant drop back bite. How about that? It's about 10 minutes of the match to go. I thought that was going to be the fish. Four red maggots on a 14. It's been the story of today, I think. <laughs> Good bite, though. Shows the rig must be working all right. There's about 10 minutes left. The prayer mat is out. The lad on my left packed up about 15 minutes ago. He's gone out. Just trying to balance that feeder just right, you know. So that any indication is going to kind of dislodge it. But obviously with that wind, when that, you know, cause one minute it's not upstream, next minute it's downstream. And obviously that affects the balance of it. Still trying to just search down the peg a little bit, just trying to see if there's any stray fish at the end of the swim. It seems pretty clear that there hasn't been any fish over the feed today, otherwise we'd, be, we'd all be getting a few bites. bit of a letdown. Ended up with five fish. Five fish for about six ounces, eight ounces, if that. Can't believe it. Can't believe I fished with the mix that I fished with, which is Special G Green, which is really strong. I put nearly two pints of casters through. I thought you'd need ten pounds to win this this um, twenty peg zone, and I'm still sure that somebody will have that. Probably from way up there to my right, but I'm gonna get the kit packed away and find out. the fruits of my labour for five hours. Five fish, <laughs> 12 ounce. I'm happy with the number of fish, but the stamp is not quite what I needed. We haven't seen the rest of the section weigh in yet, so who knows what's been caught. We've heard just now that there's 10 pound being caught further up um, to my right, which is, you know, as, as I expected, but they're just starting to weigh that section in now, so I guess we'll find out. But there we go, at least we've had a few bites anyway. Only my second Feeder Masters match this year. It now rolls on to Carmel. Well, that was a test, as you saw. I've just got home. Um, I thought I'd just do this quick download now while it's still fresh in my mind, you know. It's taken me about an hour and an hour and a bit to get home. I've had something to eat on the drive back. I wanted to film the presentation for you, but um, I didn't get a chance purely because golden rod tickets go on sale in um, about 13 minutes. <laughs> and I wanted to get back because obviously I only had two or three Feeder Masters tickets and I wanted some of the golden rod ones just to kind of compensate for the lack of the ones that I got Feeder Masters. So I couldn't go back for the presentation and film it for you, so I've had to get back because I'll be logging it online in about 10, 10 minutes or so to try and get some tickets for that. It's been a real test as you've seen. Um, apologies for the lack of action. There's only so much I can do and edit when, when there's so little action on a on a video. But hopefully you've appreciated me sharing this with you. I think I made the right decision. I predicted 10 pound was gonna win that 20 peg zone and, and that's exactly what it's taken. Alistair Ogilvy, 
has won that 20 peg zone with 10 pound four. Uh, he's had some skimmers. There were three lads up to the up to my right that have caught skimmers, three of them in a row. Um, so he's won the 20 peg zone with 10 pound four. Um, that's actually won the match, believe it or not. That's won the whole match. I can't believe it. You know, it's just proves how hard it's fishing. So Alistair's gone through and qualified. I think I've done the right thing. You know, there's no way I would have got 10 pound of those little dates. No way. It would have been hard enough to get out of the float, no matter feeder. So I'm quite pleased that I didn't waste any time whatsoever in going for those fish. I feel a little bit unfortunate in the sense that I've had five fish um, and not one of them has been bigger than that. You know, I've had five for 12 ounce. But, you know, people have said to me afterwards, coming away off the bank, that those skimmers and bream aren't in that area. You know, they're just never caught there. So, you know, maybe I was doing the wrong thing on the wrong peg. Um, the only other option I think that I, you know, I might have got the 10 pound would have been um, speaking to people after the match is going for barbel. There are one or two small barbel caught there and, and that is what everyone's now saying that that would have been my best chance of getting 10 pound. But having said that, the small barbel, you know, um, you know, three, four pounders apparently. So I would have needed at least two of those, you know, two of those sort of size to, to even get the 10 pound, you know, certainly not one fish. I, there aren't many fish that are over £10 in there that you're going to hook and land anyway. So I don't really know what other options I could have done today other than just do what I've done. And like I say, the only other thing I could have done was possibly targeted barbel. But like I say, I didn't have that knowledge before the match. And that really would have been literally sitting for one bite or two bites. And um, I just didn't know enough about that stretch to, to kind of go down that avenue. So that's what it is. I haven't wasted any time going for small fish, so I can't kick myself about that. I've used a fish meal mix. I've used Special G. Um, green and I've fed nearly two pints of casters you know as you've seen from the footage I've not really just sat and waited I've tried to make things happen I've tried to give the fish a reason to come and have a nose at what I was doing and obviously it's not worked you know it's just paid off with five small fish so that's it you know it's been a great day really to be fair I've really enjoyed it I've had dad with me as well the weather's been it's been in the high 20s all day it's been red hot so um, and, and the pegs there are really, they put the big boulders there that you've seen, you know, and it's so comfortable fishing now, it really is. It's, it would have been unheard of years and years ago when I first used to go on that river as a kid. You know, it's, I mean, I've sat in my trainers all day, it's been really, really comfortable, but like I say, could just have done with a few more fish. Just got to say a big thank you before I go to Alan Henry, he's run another, you know, flawless job again. Absolutely brilliant. And one thing that Alan does that I don't really hear anybody to talk about is just before the start of the draw, he actually tells all the lads what the tide times are and what times they are going to um, peak and turn. And he also gives them an idea roughly of how much it's going to come up or down. So I think that's just a nice little ledge that a lot of the lads that are not used to these sorts of tidal rivers and the ones that aren't familiar with the tide tables and stuff on that river, I think it's just a nice little touch just to give them a bit, a bit of a heads up. You know, so thanks for that, Alan. Another top job again, mate. That's it. I've got two more tickets now for Feeder Masters. I've got Carmel at the beginning of August, and then I've got um, the one at Bow Beach, which is the day after the Bow Beach Festival. So that's it. I will be looking for tickets along the way. I'll be keeping my eyes open on social media to see if there's anybody selling any more tickets to see if we can get um, tickets for dates that I can actually make. But yeah, I mean, obviously I won't go to any venue. I haven't chased this event like I did last year, as a lot of you know, you know, this is going to be my second match. But hopefully I'm going to get a few golden rod tickets just to kind of take me through the winter and just give, you know, give the qualifying campaign something to work on through the winter months as well. So I'd, be, I'd love to be in that golden rod final again down at Larford Lakes. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like videos like this, just please click subscribe and um, that'll keep you in a loop with all these videos but thanks for watching it's been it's been a testing day hopefully you've enjoyed me sharing it with you and if you want a quick list of the kit that i've used it's all in the description box below the rods the reels and all that sort of thing just to give you an idea of the ground baits and how much bait i've fed i don't want to throw this at you verbally now because it'll be boring but it's all down there for anyone who wants to read it thanks for watching and i'll see you in a couple of days